before we get started. Look at this. Every detail of it. Even the ladder on top. TY's Paper Vehicles. Thanks for sending this to me, for making this and sending this to me. So my buddy Chris Sobel calls me up. He goes, hey Kelfus, I've got a monster tree job and I might need your help on it. I'm like, well I just wanna come make a dope video, bro. What are we gonna do here? He's like, well bring your truck and trailer. I might have to use your trailer because there's gonna be a lot of logs on this tree job. Sounds like a deal, I can come make a video. You know, this is in between me doing all the landscaping in my own business and taking care of all my clients, but it's an opportunity. And when I get there, dude is already up in his bucket truck. He's already got like, it seems like half the tree down. I can't even believe how fast he's moving. He's just dropping monster pieces in this customer's front yard. And he knows exactly what he's doing. To me, I mean, I do tree work, but not, not on this level. I give him the GoPro. I'm like, dude, don't let this distract you. Do your thing, no pressure. But uh, hey, get me some GoPro footage so we can get a first person view. People know about tree work and those of us in the green industry, we know of tree work. We might have done some tree work, but then there's like real time heavy duty tree work, totally different ball game. And to be on these job sites or to even have the opportunity to go up in a bucket truck and do it yourself is totally different ball game, right? That's what I wanted to do in this video was to just to show how extreme this is and how it's incredibly dangerous. If it's your passion and your business and this is something that you do every day, it's another day, another dollar. But I think it's really cool what Chris does. Chris has wanted to take his business to this level and he wants to go way beyond this too, but he's wanted this for years. You know, I've known Chris, I met Chris through Eric Reno back when we were like teenagers. Chris was a journeyman for Detroit Edison. Basically he went up and cleared trees over power lines and stuff for years as a job. Socking away money and saving and dreaming and the day finally came where he had enough and he went out and he invested in his own equipment. He went out and he got started just like anybody else and he is extremely focused, dedicated, and committed to what he does. I mean, that's all he talks about day in, day out, is tree work. If he's not on a tree job, he's selling a tree job. If he's not selling a tree job, he's on a tree job. <laughs> Guys like that, it's very hard to be friends with somebody like that and just hang out. And the hustle mindset is you make like-minded friends with people who are in the same or similar industries. Me and my friends, we get together, we make money together. We do we would do big landscape jobs or tree jobs or window cleaning jobs or video projects and stuff like that. And so, the funny thing is, after this, I took all the footage and I'm like, dude, we should make a, a commercial. No, actually, he, he called me up. He's like, dude, how much would you charge me to make like a video for my business, right? I'm like, well, I can do it for you or you can just go right ahead and hire the pro, Quentin Howell. And now I sent all the footage to Quentin, and uh, Quentin's gonna produce 
a nice voiceover in a commercial for Chris's website. It's gonna be dope, dude. Quentin is good. What? Whoa! I got a fireplace playing on the background on YouTube and an ad popped up. We finish off the tree job. He ends up needing my dump trailer. There's so much log. He fills my dump trailer to the top with the logs. We're rushing, we get it. We get to the dump in time before it's closed, a whole monster tree job. You know, 80, 90 foot elm tree knocked out and done in one day. That's with cleanup with everything. Uh, matter of fact, we made it to the dump by like 4.15 p.m. You know, we came from similar, very humble upbringing. Same with all my friends, William and Eric. And we all grew up poor as dirt, man. If you just keep hustling and fighting and not taking no for an answer and you just keep trying despite any self-doubt or other people's negative opinions you're gonna go through crud you're gonna go through crap you're gonna have really bad days um, but if you keep fighting the good fight and keep hustling eventually all right man that was awesome thank you sir i appreciate so, you. how long you been doing this 11 i think this is my 12th year 12 here. 11 or 12. Wait a second. I, I at least got to get him on camera for a second saying something. <laughs> saying something. Yeah. All right. So something. you were a journeyman for a big uh, for Edison. So it's an electric company that's out here. And you started out, you, you've already done tree work just for a huge company over power lines, right? Yeah. That's what I did. I took an apprenticeship through them. How long did it take you to save up and just go all out and quit and start your own business? Oh, geez. Seven years? Six or seven? Six years, almost seven years. And then uh, when you took the leap, how long until it took you to feel like to be established where you had a solid clientele and you knew you were good? Like five years at least. It doesn't happen overnight, that's for sure. Yeah? No, oh, keep going. All the little stupid shit you gotta deal with. Hey, what's the name of that bod Bobcat, that skid you just got? That thing's dope. It's MT100, it's the newest one. MT100? Yeah. That yeah, thing's badass. Dude, I saw it like it was just pulling that, whole piles of brush. That grapple's awesome. Yeah, the one, the MT-100 they just built, they had uh, counterweights in, so it'll pick a thousand pounds up now. Yeah? Sweet. And it fits through a 36 inch gate. That's why I wanted it. Ah. That's why I bought the grapple. Because if you have the claws, you can't get out of the gate with the log sideways. But I can grab a log so it's holding it straight. And drive right out of a 36 inch gate still. Dude, it's dope, dude. Sweet. All right, you gotta run. Later. I'm gonna pull up. Oh my god. Oh my god.